Use like shine also, it will just hit everybody yeah. and give them only a the small amount of knockback. Yeah, with the side B too. So honestly, a beautiful match made in heaven, but we saw earlier on the stream, Yash and Wolfie also have some synergy that they want to show here on the big stage. Yeah, match made in heaven. Yash and Wolfie have some hellfire for it. They're about, <laughs> oh. to, they're about to put them on their back foot uh, the way that Wolfie has been so good at intricately bobbing and weaving his way through all the threats that Doubles provides as he does so right now connecting on the Yuka. Yeah, I mean, you know what they say. If this is heaven, then hell must be a lie. Let's get <laughs> right into it as a blue team off stage here and looking in dire straits. See, right away, I love what Yukit tried to do there. Mm -hmm. Wolfie overextended off the ledge for a ledge guard, and, and Yukit immediately bites on it, immediately tries to punish. So you're going to have to be very careful going off stage yeah. as Jigglypuff can just swipe stocks away from you off the sides here. Yeah, but again, yeah. it, it's more of what we saw last time. Wolfie's yet to get hit with anything significant. 39%. He's playing so evasive, and oh. that's what I was talking about. What Yuki can do carries Yash off the right side. Yeah. Again, two in a row. Okay, oh, we're okay. fine. We're no, we're not. No. <laughs> we are not. Still alive, though. Yeah, unfortunately, Sonic is broken. Wow, you you, yeah. you failed to kind of put that in your calculations. Oh, yeah, there, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'll be sure to carry the two. All right, oh. speaking of carrying the two, almost sitting off the top there to that big Ivy Sword up there. And speaking of big upward oh, moves, yeah. that full bloom from, hey, from Yash like there. Yeah, I like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you said speaking of carry the two, <laughs> Cypher and Yuki carry the two of Yash and Wolfie up top. That was crazy. Yes, very, very nasty. And now, now a slight lead here emerges from Yash and Wolfie, but it's not a comfortable one. It's mm. not a comfortable one. It really isn't, as both of them find themselves in shield. Yash getting getting caught in shield, Wolfie getting stuck in the corner. The blue team is putting on phenomenal pressure right now as Yukit tries to threaten Wolfie above. Oh, yeah, that's a big, big find there from Cipher as uh, we pretty much the win con for blue team is to get Wolfie to commit to stuff because when he starts committing, you can start punishing him just like blue team is starting to do. Yeah, it, it's working so well. Mm. Wolfie gets caught up fighting Cipher and Yukit immediately catches Yash with a back air. Yukit has been a utility player so far. He's Ooh. done it all on stage and off. Yes, indeed. The Swiss Army knife of this double set right now. Off stage now. Cypher threatened by Wolfie, but gets just under that back air. Such a threatening option that Sonic has. This is the team combo. However, Yash is going to save him from it. Oh, wow. That forward air just pieced up the entire yellow team there from Cypher. But <laughs> speaking of pieced up, the full bloom makes its return. The full bloom again. <laughs> full bloom part two. We're going to get all the way up to the current iteration, 2024. Oh <laughs> that would actually be wild. It <laughs> just keeps hitting them, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you can, uh, or Yash rather, not threatening that anymore as the Charizard comes out to play. Three stocks apiece on each of these teams. Neither one can come out to a comfortable lead. Yash getting chased off stage. Yuka has been so terrifying with those chases. Yeah, and solid up tilt back here. It's crazy. You mentioned these combo characters with these really long combos. Falco kind of fits in that category, but he also has a lot of roots where he can just cut it off and find the stock. Cutting off the roots indeed, mm -hmm. as the full bloom of Yash has yet to grow yet again. The Charizard sticks and the, the Squirtle comes out. Can he avoid long enough to switch to Ivy? Yes, he can. There it is, there it is. Back in business with the flower on toe. But Cypher right now, just a stock-taking machine, has really found his opportunities, and you can not to be slept on either. And now, Wolfie has quite the hill to climb. Sonic, one of the best 2v1 characters in the game, though. Mm -hmm. So you cannot sleep on that just yet. Right now we're seeing it. Peppering both of them with hitboxes, homing attack, left and right, left and right. Even if you catch him in the middle, he's going to keep up the fight. Yes. Hard time keeping up with him right now. Yeah, you know, Sonic always has that vigor. It is ready to fight till his last breath. But right now, Cypher and Yuki just need one good grab or one good opening and can find that rest combo and just end the stock. And they're not sending the way they want to do it. The edge guard not working out. Cypher Ew. stays alive. He goes off the stage there. He <laughs> was just right. Oh, Wolfie's putting up a phenomenal fight here. Yeah. The up air can't connect. Oh, Spring that's the gets grab. Him out of there too quickly in yeah, the down throw into F smash. Any character in doubles that has a move that holds you still for any amount of time is so useful. And Cypher and Yukit were clearly ready for it. You can tell these two have. Uh, been working on their combos yeah. as that down throw and F smash. There was no question for them what they were going to do. The moment yeah. he got that grab, it was I'm down throwing. Turns. No question. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Finesse, those type of throws are just so broken because not only does it hold the opponent in place, a lot of times those characters have full grab armor intangibility and uh, you yeah. can just swing Your with teammate no remorse. Can't get hit by it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Think, think Ness, think Rob, they both can do the same thing yep. where they just hold their, their, they hold their opponent still and the teammate can just come up with one foul swoop and the stock just like that. 
And now that's the thing there is that Cypher and Yukit had the volatility in that game. Yes. That's what put them apart. That's what separated it is that Yukit was running off stage, taking these stocks. Um, Cypher was holding on the fort so well, and every single time Yukit was able to catch either of them off stage slipping, it was it was a stock. It spelled disaster. Stock, yeah. And I think it's going to come down to what you said is how well is Wolfie able to stop himself from committing and kind of kind of go out there and be that saving grace to fight that Jigglypuff off stage to keep Yash out of danger, to keep himself out of danger, mm -hmm. and stop Yukit from dominating in the way that he just was and the way that he continues to do. <laughs> indeed, indeed. You can see here though, Wolfie just covering Yash's back time and time again, and Yash putting all the damage, making the openings with his body. The team coverage has been so great, we've yet to see a super extensive team combo from either of these teams yet. Oh! oh cuts me off. <laughs> proves me wrong right away. Saves himself from getting punished out of that down B. Cypher and Yukit find a nice connection there. Yeah, but that was a little bit of that doubles uh, multiplier, a little less damage than you would expect, and not actually taking the KO with the rest, but bring the feedies as we get that F smash to send Yash to a second stop. F smash is going to do it comfortably there, as Yash and Wolfie again fall behind. Trying to chase Yukit off stage, but he's been too evasive. Yukit has had has has not been able to get pinned down as they're chasing Cypher. And that's what oh. I'm saying. The moment Wolfie commits, it actually works out this time. Yash yeah, catches the back air. Very nice indeed here. And oh my goodness, almost had a crazy offstage interaction there. I just love Wolfie's just gumption to go off stage and take those stocks. Yeah. Wolfie time and, and Yukit are both like a homing missile the moment you catch yourself off stage. They both look like Snake Nikita, right? They're both just running out there with no regard Ew. for their own life. And Wolfie with no regard for Cyphers as that F Smash connects. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, Yukit was just along for the ride. Couldn't really save uh, Cypher there. Honestly, only just kind of got in the way. <laughs> I think Yukit wanted the rest there, but he yeah. realized it was his teammate. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> they, was like, they both got hit, and he he took it, barely <laughs> took his finger off the down B button. Yeah, and Cypher was like, oh, this could have been the hottest rest, but good thing that <laughs> yeah. you're on the blue team. Oh, nice back air as well. The blue Sonic going to get hit off stage. And I wonder, do you think do you think Wolfie and Yash intentionally pick blue alts to confuse the blue team? No, I think this was on accident. So, first of all, Wolfie doesn't have a choice. Sonic's going to bleed blue He's regardless blue, of what yeah. you're going to do. And I think uh, Wolfie had been using the yellow alt uh, all the time before this. So, yeah, I true, think it was true. just a slip of the finger. Slip of the finger. Not one that these are going to have in the game, though. Mm -hmm. As we have two stocks for all four of these characters. It's a total of eight on screen. Yes. And uh, Yash is going to bring it down to seven. A perfect fly attack there. Dang but it. right into the loving legs of Jigglypuff right off the Halo platform. That was that was smart from UK. He waited on the Halo platform for a minute. Because I think he had a hunch that Yash was going to go for that side B. Yeah, yeah. Good coverage. Good coverage. But speaking of coverage... See on the left side of your screen, everybody's going off stage here. Someone could lose a stock <laughs> in this dangerous territory. Just just so many bold options being picked over and over. Mm. And another one we're seeing on the left side, Yukit chasing Wolfie all the way up top, forces him to recover high, and gives um, gives his teammate plenty of time to work on Yash. Yeah, it, it is just a beautiful thing when teammates know where the partner's throws are going to go. And you see there... Phenomenal. That, yeah, that down throw is just... Nothing you could do there. Just Nothing phenomenal. What there. else can you say? You, you can't save your teammate. You're mm -hmm. going to get hit by the F smash. You have to sit and watch. But Yash, not going to watch too much as he gets that back throw off stage. Mm -hmm. Holding you get at the corner. Not going to get caught by that sing. Oh, man. Cypher kind of getting pieced up here. Going to need a little bit of help from you, Kit, here. And just what kind of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cypher going to continue to be putting that blender the up throw connects as well as the okay. fair oh Yukin is gonna miss with that rest and it is going to spell his demise wait can you make it back no no no, 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 way. no way. didn't think so and he is going to leave cypher to fend for himself and this is doable falco a decent Ow. 2v1 character up tilt in the back air could catch at Yikes. any moment but two leaf moves in a row from yash is going to take that stock off of him so we are now at a impasse here it's one to one and these two players these two teams want to move on in losers top eight and only one can come out on top here yeah and the the adaptation game is very interesting in doubles mm -hmm. you know it's 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 very often a thing of of game plan in general right yes um or rather it's it's, it's hard to decide whether it was the game plan in general or whether whether it was the execution Right, it, it, it could often come down to a thing of, okay, do we switch our roles? Do you go in front? Do I stick in the back? Or was it just, did we just play it poorly and we were making the right decision? That's that's why uh, the doubles adaptation can often be interesting because you don't know which which things you need to do better. Yeah, there's a lot more to assess. And while you yes. do have your buddy sitting right next to you, he's kind of seeing the same game that you are. And, and 
while it will be a unique perspective, sometimes you can both get lost in the weeds and find yourself falling for, you know, yeah. unfortunate reasons. Lost in the weeds without a whacker. Exactly, exactly. The weeds on stream, Yash with the Ivysaur. <laughs> yeah. Putting the Leafs out there to send Cypher off stage yet again. Two oh, nares that yeah. could be an up and Yes, it is. Oh. He's going to lose the stock. Can you get trade? Yes, he can. Oh, no! Phenomenal coverage. What happened to Wolfie? <laughs> he just... He went for the upbeat to try to send the spring down to his teammate yeah. and then just fast fell to his doom. Oh no, that's that's phenomenal coverage from Yukit though. He caught Yash overextending on a combo and that's been the Jigglypuff masterclass all game. Is You can't connect off stage, even if it's gonna kill your opponent, even if you're gonna be able to make it back. No, you won't. Yeah. I, I promise you won't. Something is in the water here at Hollow Bastion because these games get very explosive when we see the yeah, capital pick here. The same last time. <laughs> yeah. Except, unfortunately, this time, Yellow Team is on the back end. You know, last time, they kind of exploded their way into top eight with oh. a super fast Hollow Bastion game. Yeah, I, I'm the prowl, though. Not mm -hmm. not going to let this game slip away from us. Oh, yeah. And this is such a asymmetrical even. You know, you have one and three stocks on blue team side, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you have two and two on Yellow's team side. So uh, we'll see which comes out on top. Can you can kind of hang on to these stocks, even though they're literally the balloon Pokemon? <laughs> Yeah, asymmetrically even. Eloquent way to put it as Yash is going to catch that back air. And Wolfie going to die off the side. Brings the game a little further from even. They're going to have to take a couple early stocks off of you kid here if they want a chance. And that's not quite going to do it. Wolfie can't do it, can't finish it with the back air. Yes, back airs with a chance of living as you kid gets to survive and live to fight another day. But Cypher has the to be careful. Ooh. Same thing we keep seeing. The F smash wasn't enough to finish it off this time. Cypher chases deep. That's been risky so far. Wolfie can't uh -oh. cover. A lot just happened right there. A lot of things yeah. fell into place, but nobody lost their stocks, luckily, for Yellow Team. I, I, I can't believe Yash is still holding on to a stock. Oh! <laughs> no way! Holds that F smash, catches an early one off a of Cypher. That's exactly what the Yellow Team needed. They're right back in this game. Dead that's even, practically. what I would call hashtag raw. <laughs> just, <laughs> Yash just let it rip and found the biggest stock of the set. Now Yukit's going to lose the stock, and now we're all tied up. Super rough stock from the yellow team, but they brought us right back. The neutral beat from, uh, from Wolfie going to connect. Just both teams swinging haymakers on either side of the stage. Yukit avoids comboing his teammate Yash off stage, covered by Wolfie. Neither team can find any room to breathe. Yeah, and what's crazy, it, it was a little bit of a micro interaction that fell below the wayside, but yellow team has found the counterplay to the down throw F smash. Wolfie was actually able yeah. to stop. Cypher for coming up and F smashing, which is a correct counterplay. You got to stop the other teammate. That's not invincible. Cypher, the first player on the board to look a little more abundant, losing his percentage. Aye, As aye, every aye. moment passes, the F smash can't get it done, though. Catches a razor leaf from Lash or Yash. Recovery options are limited. Cypher makes it back throw, up throw. Going to get some combos. Yeah, you know, and Wolfie tried to zone off you, kid, and said, hey, Yash, I need you to take that stock. But uh, Cypher lives to fight another day, and we have another scramble here. And that's a big wind-up punch from Wolfie. Perfect. Now, you, kid, is going to have to fight tooth and nail if he wants a chance here. Oh, my gosh. And unfortunately, Jigglypuff, very fragile in the 2v1, has very obvious punish windows. So you kid's going to try to play perfectly around yeah. that. Rest is pretty much off the table completely as a move you can use here. And that's the thing with... Oh, aye, aye, aye. nice dash attack to cover the throw into an up air from Yash. And a nice finish there is going to get it done. Wolfie and Yash cling to life <laughs> and close out the comeback. Yes, I love it there. That up air was phenomenal. And uh, Yash and Wolfie are just a delight to watch. As you can see here, uh, they get the throw, and this is the perfect time to punish. And I love that Wolfie went for that dash attack there. Instead of trying to commit with like a smash attack or something, you know, of a haymaker of his yep. own, he put it in Yash's hands or his neck in that scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Fastest possible option to give your teammate a chance to follow up. Mm. I, I do think Wolfie knew right where that dash attack would send. I, I, yeah. I think Wolfie knew that the dash attack would put him in the perfect spot for Yash to hit him with a punish, maybe an up air, maybe a back air. Uh, and Wolfie and Yash with some phenomenal team chemistry. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised.